it is a beautiful day for some disc golf. And it's after I get off work, which makes it even better because I have enough daylight now to film more content for you guys. And if that wasn't enough, I'm about to be playing for the biggest prize I've ever played for in disc golf. But we'll get into that in just a minute. Let's head over to hole one. Well, well, well. If he isn't back per crowd request, it is the Timmy Two Trees. All right, we're at a Hunter Park today. Like I mentioned, we're gonna be playing for the biggest disc golf prize I've ever played for so far. And of course, again, brought out the grand Timmy Two Trees for a rematch because unfortunately I was told that I didn't actually beat him in Arkansas. So we're out at a local course where we do know the rules and we're gonna be playing from the tips. And of course, you may be wondering what the grand prize is that we're playing for today. Well, and that is in fact a couple of new smart tags uh, I was sent these over by Pop Top Disc Golf, so big thanks to them. So we've got the 17,463 tag and the 56,079 tag. So, you know, we're gonna see who gets the, the lower tag today. We're gonna get into it. For those that aren't local, there's two layouts here, aptly named the ketchup and mustard layout. We're gonna be playing the hardest hole on the layout. So hole one, it's gonna start on, on the mustard layout because it's gonna play around the trees on the backside, 400 something foot shot. Uh, we'll kind of explain the holes as we go, but we're gonna go ahead and get into hole one. Let's do it. Boom. All right, being the winner from Arkansas, I'll go ahead and tee us off first. We're gonna go yellow on the sign, 420 feet. We've got a ripping left to right cross tail. So helping wind on this hole for the most part. It's gonna go down and around the trees, so you're not gonna be able to see it off the tee, uh, but we'll be able to kind of guide you and tell you whether or not it was a good shot once it leaves our hand. It's gonna flatten out. Basically gonna be as far away from the hole over there as I am right here. Oh, keep going. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's kind of panning out a little bit. That's almost aced five. This is a par three, I didn't say that on the tee. Oh God. That might be, that might be bogey. That somehow went through all that. That might be bogey at best. Whole one's drive, I think we're gonna have to rename him to Timmy Too Big. That's five's basket. Oh no. That's also looking like a bogey at best. We are starting off incredibly strong all right let's give it a old, good old dad run all right i mean that's that's just fine your boy has found the poison ivy oh you know what that is just fine put number one on the books here no warm-ups Well, we took a five. I'll be a good sport and tap Timmy out for the lead. Hole two, 368 feet. We're gonna go to catch up, which is longs. Um, it is gonna be basically a driver flex turnover to where it straightens back up towards the end to be able to get the two. I've seen it done more that, more that way than the roller that more pros tend to say that's the only way to get down there. We'll see who can do it today. Missed it, but it looked like it got it down there pretty good. I think I'm putting actually. I'm gonna go with the roller, Prodigy H7. If I'm lucky, I'll end up in the bowl. I think it turned over too quick. If you guys have some recommendations for roller discs, Put them down in the comments below. Unfortunately, that H7 likes to turn over way too quick. I need something that'll hit the ground at that angle that I threw it on and just beeline it. So if you got any ideas, let me know. I'm gonna do a little step putt at it, maybe jump, we'll see. Jump it is, oh, go in. Oh, can't be big putted. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Not unhappy with that bid. Mm, terrible run. All right, 20 footer. 
Boom! Clutch. It's my marker. Now this is subjective because depending on the player, you've got ketchup, which is out there slightly uphill, 280 feet. You've also got mustard, which is about the same distance, but breaks to the right. Um, you can get there with a backhand turnover or a forehand. So pretty much whatever you want to throw. Both par threes, no real OB to speak of except for going into the jail that is the woods. All right, I think I'm going bullfrog. Oh, oh negative. Did you square them? Nope, not squared today. We're gonna give it the business with a forehand. You'll miss the ending of the flight if I do it correctly. Depending on how much ground play that that got, will determine where I ended up. Bit of a ways to the basket from there. <sighs> lay up time, lay up time. Man. That'll putt. Does that hurt anybody else's soul when you have to lay up like that? More poison ivy. Lo lovely thing you don't want to see on this course. Had an awkward straddle putt. I'm so good at hitting the band when there's not a band. All right, we got stroke swings going on. Hole four is 270. We are going to mustard, which is straight down the center line. And it is almost like a 40 to 50 foot dog leg straight right. Um, you can throw forehand down this left side gap. You can go straight down with a forehand as well, try to get a skip, or you can just shoot straight down there and try to get all the way down. There is Creek OB deep. So you just try to push that Creek and then have like a 45 foot putt. Tim asked what I'm doing. I'm absolutely going to pipe a zone forehand line. Ain't no doubts about it. Oh, I love that. Oh, Timmy, that was two trees. All right, we're gonna go MVP Watt. Wait, what? Oh, yikes. Yikes. You gave it the hyzer action. Some say that Hunter Park is like my course, but since I haven't played Hunter in a while, it's not treating me so kindly because I haven't been treating her with my presence. I think my only real opportunity to save the three is to get some Anheuser up over there and have maybe a 30 foot turbo putt. You guys ready to see how fast you can go from par to double? Because that's how you do it. Uh. All right, we're gonna go AVR three on a forehand. Don't go deep. Oh, he's done it. Woo! Oh, Rolo B, please. Barely stayed on the ledge. Oh my. All right, here it Tim, is. Tim, uh, I believe in you. I really don't believe in him. Tap-ins, boys. Dang. Easy par. Never have I ever been so confident coming out of the woods at Hunter over par. Par four on hole five to catch up this time. We're playing up to the basket that plays on the hillside by the pond. If I had to guess, it's probably about 30 feet of upwards elevation. And we've got a left to right slight head. I'm gonna go with a brand new boss, shout out Taylor Noriega, hitting me up with the special gift. That is, uh, it's probably gonna fly backwards at this point. That had some very, very impressive hang time. This is my only Zeus, but my stable Zeus, but kind of flippy also. Flippy for everybody else, but kind of stable for me. Oh, wrecked. All right, F2 Athena again. I should be able to get there with this. Well, I pulled it, but that might work. Just drop. And go through. 
That's a great shot. Magician over here, boys. Magician. All right, I'll let you guys know what I'm going to try for, which is a Vanguard slight Anheuser angle towards that left tree, have it kind of pan and then fade back towards the basket at the end. Will I execute it? I guess you'll find out. Oh, there's so much crosswind. Okay, bad decision with this crosswind. Never do that. I'm gonna go zone forehand. All That's right. the perfect zone shot right there. Oh, let's oh, go. Oh my goodness. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Uh, four is doable from there. Massive putt to save his par here. Boom. That isn't the same Timmy that was putting at J Beast. This is hole six. It is 353 feet to red, uh, catch up, excuse me. Uh, that is the long position. There is a backhand hyzer, and then there is a forehand hyzer as well on the left side. Or you can just blitz and try to get a black ace, and if you miss the black ace, you're probably going to be parked, or you'll hit a tree and go in the creek. A fireball with this left to right cross head, I don't really trust it, so I want something that's going to keep me in play. I'm going to try to go short of yellow. Now sit. Should be just fine. It might not have been visible on the camera, but it's just off to the left, right before the cart path. I'm gonna go Reaper, right side gap, try to get past those roots. That's actually great though. Wow. Look at him go. Oh, wow. Not even that. Timmy two stump. Yep. I somehow think the wind has picked up since we've been here. I got like a hundred feet into the green. I'm gonna go zone, jump putt at it. You kind of saw it just. And that's there how you approach. Go. Oh, I feel it. The wind's dying down. Oh, roll the way. Don't worry, it's still in bounds. Let's go. All right, we take our fours with pride around here, okay? All right, welcome to hole seven. Gave one back to Tim and the course. Par three, 350-ish feet or so. You've got a creek that plays along the middle of the hole the whole way that separates ketchup and mustard. Um, it plays casual the whole way. Basket's up on a mound. See what Timmy does with it. All right, we're going cloud breaker. I'm gonna try to flex it a touch. Oh, that looks great. Get all the way there. Oh, Timmy is oh. too big. That is a great roll. First down, boys. We're going to go with the Champ Wraith. Similar idea, but more of a hyzer flip. Not oh. as gracious of a roll up as Timmy got. Timmy's uh, all but pretty much parked, but it's still a tester in this wind. I could lay up and put the pressure on him. But that's just not the kind of person that I am. So we're going to run it. Well, that went about as well as the old internet saying goes. I was like trying to grab a tomato through a spinning ceiling fan with my mouth. <laughs> See, the tricky part of this is this water is all casual. So there's nothing to do but this. Oh, thank you, God, for catching that. We have a widow wind. Oh, God, he's getting closer. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, Razzle. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Yo, thank you, buddy. You the best. Do not like my feet being wet. Kind of a wiener when it comes to those. Ooh. Oh, God. Okay, we're in it now. There we uh -oh. go. Oh, let's go. Step up, look at it, no hips, put it. I'm gonna give you guys some disc golf shoe asthma. Gorgeous. All right, this hole eight, we are going to catch up. It is gonna be 638 feet. There is a left side forehand gap or even a roller gap. And then there is a right side flat hyzer shot. Um, I feel like you would rather be far left 
or far right to get a good approach for the actual layup or the approach shot. I agree. Right hand hyzer line with the crosswind. I'm hoping it just really picks it up and kicks it way back to the left so that I can go down the, the middle of the trees for my second. Oh, get off of it. Wow. <laughs> that got way further than I deserve. I'm gonna go with the prototype Hades, the what would y'all should do disc. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's still going that way. Did you go in the water? Them somehow ended up in the water. It's a good shot. That'll play. Ooh, a good little forward roll too. Good. I need it. Right to left crosswind, probably about 25 miles an hour. We're gonna go fireball and have it try to fade out of the flex right at the end. Now sit. Should be okay. Oh. Bullfrog shot, boys. He's done it. I needed that. Oh, baby. That's a. That was a really good birdie to get. Not one that I get very often. Thank you, Wind. Thank you, Oklahoma. Thank you, PDGA. That's a two stroke swing. Thank you, Joe. All right, hole nine, 333 foot par three. We have Creek OB on the left. Um, the basket plays up on a slight hill on the hillside. So there is the chance of rolling away. If you don't get the disc close enough to the basket, you're not gonna be able to run the putt. So we're gonna go Vanguard, play it into the wind, similar to what I did on hole five. That might not be enough. I need that to slow down now. I might very barely be on the edge, but we'll see when we get up there. F2 Athena, once again, trust her. Totally missed it. Just crested it. Nice. All right, they say statistically wind gusts don't last more than 15 to 20 seconds. We're going we're on 30. See, we're, gonna see, we're gonna see if this is just a gust or is this normal? Oh my gosh, all right, here it is. Okay, I timed it perfectly. I think that was 29 seconds. Unfortunately for Tim, I did stay in bounds. Uh, the wind is picking back up again as I speak. So as I continue to tell you guys this, it's actually getting worse for me and I have even less time to putt. We've got hole 10, 320 feet to catch up. It is basically, there is a good forehand turnover line. Um, and then there is a straight backhand line, just dead straight underneath some branches. And then if you want to, with a really overstable disc, you can do a turnover backhand around the group of trees and then end up on top of the mound and have like, you can get as close as parked. I don't think Tim mentioned it, but there is also OB Creek on the left-hand side. So don't want to go into that. I'm going to go Vanguard again. It seems to be doing some work for me. We're just going to play the straight up the middle line. Get underneath it. Woo, baby, that's a putt. Probably in C2 though, that skipped way too far to the left. Like I said, kind of a flippy Zeus, lighter one. I'm gonna try to go straight up the middle. Oh yeah, that's gonna be parked. Yeah, yeah. Big pot, Timmy is literally underneath the basket. Hole 11, the iron boot is not getting any better from the wet foot. Par three, you've got a creek that runs along the middle. This time is OB. Shale, also OB. You got two options. You have a good forehand. You know, scratch that. If you have a good forehand or not, you're not taking that gap today, not with this wind. You got one option, backhand hyzer, right side. Almost as if you're playing for yellow, laying up for red, taking your three. All right, comment below in 25 mile an hour, left to right, headwind, left to right, headwind, if you would still take the forehand gap. Oh, you gotta stay up. Oh! They got the most wild skip. 
but I think you still stayed up there. Did it roll down? Oh no. We're gonna go rive right side as well, play it on a hyzer, have it hopefully skip, but not down into the water like Tim's did. And the wind is just not letting it get back over, but I should have a nice little up and down from there to take my three and move on. All right, guys, I told him to play in the dirt because the shale was OB, but he didn't listen. Oh no. Oh, oh let's go. No. Yeah, that should be just fine. As long as it doesn't roll. Ho, 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 ho. Good putt. What a good guy. All right, this hole 12 is 211 feet. We are gonna play mustard, which is a short shot. Uh, basically just for the ace run, fun for the ace run. If you miss the ace run, you're either gonna be in that bush behind and have almost no putt, or you're gonna roll all the way back down into creek, which plays as casual as well. All right, well, you guys can see it pretty decent on the camera. The sun is like right in our face. I'm gonna go zone hyzer and just try to Put it close. Oh, that's definitely going in the creek, boys. Oh yeah, baby. In the casual <laughs> creek we go. I need to park this, get the two. Accidental ace would be amazing. Well, that was a chance of doing absolutely nothing. Oh, I don't like this. Not one bit. I ran it. I needed the roll away from him. I gotta give this some chance. Oh, let's go, boys! <laughs> no chains. No chains needed. No chains needed. All right, hole 13, 440 ish feet or so. He's out underneath the tree, catch up basket this time. OB is gonna be walking past and beyond, and the basketball court if you somehow end up on it. Stim's box, let's see what he does with it. All right, last time I threw the Proto Hades, the what would Yasha do disc, I should have thought to myself, what would Yasha do on this shot? I went OB with it. This time, it is probably actually going to be a helping wind, and we're going to try to mash on this thing. Yeah? Yeah, that's about as big as I can go. All right, probably about as far as Tim's is, just more to the left. Oh, don't be, oh, there it is. What a great little <laughs> kick off the tree. Oh, a little bit of Yasha luck there. Oh, we need him to sail it. Nope, nose up. Oh, Tester. <laughs> Tester into some headwind? What? Tester. All right, lefty putt, Tim makes it. Oh gosh. All right, he's got it in the bag. We are on hole 14, 388 feet to catch up. It is gonna play out there. You wanna basically throw some out there towards yellows and then just try to get this wind, this right to left wind to carry it over onto the ridge into red. There is pond deep, but not very deep. It's maybe inside circle one on either baskets just over that ridge. There is sidewalk surrounds this one all the way towards the pond as well. All right, we're gonna go cloud breaker. Like I said, just ride a yellow and then get this wind, helping wind to get it to cruise on over there. Yeah. That I mean, is probably about as good as I normally get it. All right, we're going to go rive, same idea, outright, let it fade in. There's a little room to get a skip towards the basket, but you really got to push that pond. I think it's short. Hey, Timmy, how are you doing? Comment below and let me know if he needs a roll away right now. Oh, all right, let's lay it up. All right, hole 15, 364 foot par three, plays beyond that tree and the basketball court and walking path behind our OB. Um, good luck getting the hole even at all with this headwind. 
Uh, still Timmy's box, see what he does. Oh, let's go. Whoa. <laughs> go Ace in the yellow. basket. Ace yellow. <gasps> oh my. <laughs> Back to the rive again. Gonna throw this one some hyzer so that it doesn't just completely roll over like Tim's did. <laughs> okay, fine. I didn't even get past the tree. That's a hefty headwind right there. What a run. <laughs> These baskets just catch way too well. Hole 16, the obvious answer is which one's hardest? Definitely ketchup, because it's a 15 foot elevated basket. And in this wind, there could be a three putt, easy. All right, we're gonna go forehand. Oh, let's go. Turf, baby. Oh, AMs are always hearing pros go, keep it under the wind. And I kept it underneath the grass. All right, we're gonna go fireball, same idea as Tim, forehand out left, have it kind of fade back into the basket. And oh, it, that's, that's that might be close, but it, depending on where it is, the wind is gonna make that putt extremely difficult. Oh, let's go. Oh, well, we're gonna make a putt here, boys, probably with a driver. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Here, now we'll have a, hopefully oh. a tailwind putt. <laughs> I could be the bigger man and let Tim be the only one that runs this putt, but I'm feeling it right now. Oh my God, it just gusted to 35. I thought it'd lift. Well, the positive is you did that so terrible, but you were so pro level that you hit the pole. Just. <laughs> This isn't any Freaking better. Blow out of the chains. Blow out of the chains. Blow out of the chains. Oh! Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this could be. Guys. This could be it, guys. I want you to know my hands are freezing. This and that's my it. excuse. All right. Tell me now in the comments if you think elevated baskets are stupid. All right, hole 17, 431 feet. I'm extremely cold at this point. Obi road to the right, Obi marsh in the middle, Obi walking path to the left. They go boss, two step. Oh boys, where is he going? To the wrong pin. <clears throat> oh, I'm it. Oh my oh, gosh. You barely cleared it. Oh my. Oh, that you is gotta short. You got a faster disc, Tim. Oh, we tried to play it under the wind. I tried. Didn't work out. Tailwind. Oh, well, I gave it height. I could lay up knowing that we would take the same score. That's just not the kind of man that I am. I need him to go. Oh, there's no wind right now. Go figure. Oh, no. It was always a bullfrog putt. Oh, yes. It was always a bullfrog putt. Oh. All right, hole 18. If you made it this far, we really appreciate you. You know, if this is your first time here, like, subscribe, comment down below, do all the YouTube things. We really appreciate it. This one's going to be 500. Actually, this one's going to be 486 feet. Uh, there is a concrete slab up on the hillside up there that plays OB. Uh, outside that is just pretty much just get as far up there as you can and try to take your three and move on. Low key, that might be the best drive I've like ever had on this hole. Okay. Oh, I'm in perfect spot now. Oh, that ain't it. <laughs> oh, Am Tim is in full effecto, boys. What are you doing? 
Oh, yes. Oh, it was a full Cindy's, all right. I had to give it three blows just to warm my fingers up enough. The temperature's dropped at least 15 degrees. Oh. Oh, my. All right, it's cold, windy still. I'm ready to get out of here. We're gonna give the ceremonious 56,079 tag to Tim Davis. You've earned it, buddy. Congratulations. Oh, it's purple. It's perfect. And uh, I'm sitting at 17,463. So if you want to come after your boy, you know where I live. And anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>